So we are here at Kelly Park in Apopka, Florida, enjoying the lazy river here in the Rock Springs. But Joe and I realized that the springs drifts a lot faster than we anticipated. And it got us thinking, what in your keto journey is causing you to drift away faster from your plans than you planned on? What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where we're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to this it. This is not a good angle for me. No, it's not. And I'm, I'm a little wonky here, too. But that's all right. Things are going faster than we expected. We are drifting down rock springs and we're drifting at a little pace. I mean, this is obviously like not, not white water rafting in Colorado. But it but doesn't seem like a lazy river either. No, we are moving at a pace. And that started making us think like, what would cause you to drift away from your keto plan? So in today's video, we're gonna give you five things plus a bonus of that could cause you to drift away and what you can do about it. Okay, so as we drift even faster, <laughs> we, hit we, we do have a sponsor for today's video. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any of this sponsor's things with me. You don't carry it in your raft? No, I don't, but we will put some pictures up here. And today's sponsor is Perfect Keto. Thanks guys. Perfect Keto is an awesome keto nutrition company and they have some of our favorite products. Uh, my favorite product is right now is the peanut butter collagen. Which we fight over. And Rachel loves the strawberry one. We also love the Nola bars. They have MCT oil powder. They have exogenous ketones, which they call base. Now remember, exogenous ketones will not help you to lose any weight any faster, but they will give you a little bit of energy if you need that boost for a workout. And they will also help you with a little bit of cognitive function. Now, Perfect Keto for the sponsorship of today's video is having a very special sale for the next few days for two Crazy Keto members only. You're gonna get 25% off when you buy two or more items using the link that is down below in the description. So all the details are down there in the description. And we really appreciate you guys for supporting the sponsors who support two Crazy Ketos. So number one one for me is unexpected stressors, things that I have not planned for. So um, things like the car is broken down or our air conditioner is not working right. The vacuum cleaner is clogged. Those kind of things that I am not anticipating that just suddenly arise in my day can cause me to go off plan. What I need to do is realize that the refrigerator being broken or my car suddenly running out of gas has nothing to do with what I put in my mouth. So number two, anytime you have time off. So that could be your weekend off, a vacation, uh, just maybe a few hours of downtime. I know for me, that's when I start drifting. When I have nothing to do, I start thinking, I know what I can do, I can eat. And this doesn't necessarily mean like eating non-keto foods, I mean just eat. I mean every time I walk past the refrigerator, do what we call a drive-by. Maybe sitting down at the computer playing a video games and having a bag of pork rinds sitting next to me. All those times where we're not doing anything, I can drift. Then you have vacations. Vacations is another whole aspect of time off because we can go on vacation and start thinking, you know what, I'm gonna loosen the reins just a little bit. Maybe you're a carnivore and decide when you go on vacation, you're gonna be ketovore. Maybe you're a total carb person and then when you go on vacation, you wanna be a net carb person. These are times where we could possibly start drifting away from even what our plans are. So not only are we drifting away from our normal way we live, but then we start drifting away from our plans saying things like, you know what, it's a once in a lifetime experience. It's not gonna be so bad if I eat like 50 croissants when I go somewhere, or 
maybe instead of having keto ice cream, just this one time, I'm gonna have a regular ice cream. Those are the times where I know for me, I have to be really careful that I don't start drifting off plan. Whoa. So number three is grocery day. Grocery day can be a really scary day, <laughs> kind of like right now. On grocery day, I can really drift from my plans because number one, I tend to clean out the fridge, just eat all of the leftovers off plan, uh, but to make room for grocery day because this is a chore that I have to do. I have to do it, right? Then when you go to the store for grocery day, sometimes I'm guilty of purchasing a keto snack or two that was off of plan. It's a keto snack, but it wasn't what I was planning to eat, but it was just in sort of celebration of grocery day. So you can eat something in the car or eat something on the go that you really don't need, but I want. So number four actually goes right along with grocery day, and that is eating too many keto snacks whether they're store-bought ones or they're homemade ones because the bottom line is hey i love keto snacks you know i love things like mug cakes or keto pancakes or maybe even the occasional keto ice cream but sometimes those things can make me drift way past what my plan is because instead of having like one serving of ice cream i decide i'm gonna have two servings today or maybe all of a sudden if i'm doing my total carbs of 20 the keto snacks bring my total carbs up to 30 or 40. Those are the days where I really have to be careful about my drifting plans. Those days where I'm gonna have just one or two keto snacks, but they turn into four, five, or even six. Number five is a biggie for us, and that is relationships. Yes, relationships could definitely make you start drifting in a lot of different ways. So you could have maybe a disagreement in your relationship. That's going to cause some unexpected stress, which is going to make you possibly start drifting off your plan. But another aspect that I think of a relationship that can cause you to drift is when you're not on the same page and one person is either like making fun of what you're eating or maybe just discouraging you from eating. Yeah, and maybe it's not even about keto. Maybe it's a work relationship, a coworker that you don't get along with. Maybe it's a neighbor relationship that's driving you nuts. We've totally been there. Maybe it's a relationship with, with your kids or other members of your extended family, a friendship that you've had for a long time. Just any kind of relationship stress can really cause us to, to binge eat. And what I found is that doesn't make the relationship any better. That just makes me more sad in the relationship I have with myself. Yeah, the other aspect of relationship that could cause you to drift is worrying what other people think. And that could be a friend, a family member, or even maybe a doctor who is convincing you that eating this lifestyle isn't good for you, or you look too thin, or you know, hey, going to the grocery store and having somebody making fun of the fact that you're buying like five dozen eggs. All of that stuff can cause you to drift. Now, my answer to all of that, how you're going to have a solution and not drift for that is you need to worry about you. You are the most important person and you need to put you first. Now we do have a bonus one, but before we get to the bonus, I wanna ask you to do us a favor and please head down below, hit the like button on this video because it really lets us know what kind of content you're looking for. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you are notified every time we have a new video like this. Now our bonus for today is not having a plan at all. I think this is probably the best one. Shouldn't just be the bonus, but it is so true. It's very easy to drift when you don't have a plan at all to drift from. Yeah, because then it's hard to measure it. And sometimes we think we're doing ourselves a favor by not having a plan because then we won't stress out about drifting. But you don't want to drift so far from the goals that you have for yourself because whether you make a plan or not, you do have goals that you're hoping to achieve and you're not going to achieve those unless you make a plan. That's right. Now that's going to be the end of this video, but let us know down in the comment section if there's any other things that could possibly cause you to drift off of your keto or carnivore plan. Now please make sure you do us a favor and check out today's sponsor, which is Perfect Keto. There is a link down below and take advantage of that 25% off two or more item sale. Now if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down here. 
Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.